I kind of took this wipe off. I haven't played that much raids. 335 in total, including scav raids. But then after all this drama recently, I've started picking up Tarkov again. Weirdly enough, just the drama made me want to just see what's going on. Oh, and if you can see my background, you might be able to see what addition I've got. Let's not speak about that. But like I was saying, I've only done 335 raids, so I've kind of taken the wipe off overall. But recently I've come back and I've just been trying to use the best stuff I have just to enjoy the game a little bit. And I've been using the nade launchers. And I've got to say, why is nobody using the nade launchers? They are amazing. Now there are two different types of nade launchers, so I have two builds here for you. One's an AK build, and for me that is the goated nade launcher. And the other option is, well I have a TX here, you can put it on an M4A1 if you want to as well. But these are the two nade launchers we're going to be working with in this video. I'm going to be showing you just how powerful they can actually be. And just how fun they are. To, like, they're right at the bottom of your gun. They're sitting there ready to whip out in situations where you might need them. I don't understand why people aren't using them. I've never looted a single one. Let's get a bit of information about the launchers. Here are the trades for both of them. You can see that they're both level 3 trades. And that they're not cheap trades either. The GP25 comes up to around 500k, something like that at the moment. And the M203, that comes up to maybe around 450 to 400k. So these are definitely not cheap pieces of equipment. And to add to that, the funny thing about these launchers as well is you can't list them on the flea market. So you can't get that kind of money back for them because they're not available to list on the flea market. And if you go over to the trader, we go over to the mechanic, you can see you'll only get 37 and 32,000 rubles back for them. Which if you put that against the barter is a loss of around 400,000 rubles. So selling them, you're losing a lot of money. You can't gain that money back on the flea market. So when you do find these in raid and loads of people must be finding them, the only sensible thing to do is keep it and use it, surely. And the last thing I want to talk about before we start shooting these things is the ammo that we are going to be firing. You can see that there is one option for the AK version. And in my opinion, it's better than all six options for the M4A1. I'll explain why in a minute. You can see that the bottom one, there's a shotgun option. We're not really interested in that. And you have five explosive options that that launcher can use. This chart here also shows one of the main flaws for me with the launcher. And that is the explosion radius of its ammo. The VOG 25 has the smallest explosion radius and it's so telling in game. It feels like a really reliable launcher in comparison to the other one that's going to let you down close range over and over. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into the hideout and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So first things first, make sure you have your laser turned on. It's basically essential. That is our aim when it comes to judging where we want to fire our nade launchers. So let's load this one up. And basically, we're going to do a test on all these pins as well as the very back end just to show where they land. Give you a little gauge for how to use the nade launchers. Let's start with this one right in front of us. As you can see, there's no explosion and this is the problem with this launcher. It's certainly not usable up, up to this like 4 meter range here. Let's try the second row back. Same problem. Let's go for the third row back. Same problem. Although I do believe there are certain nades that will blow up at this distance. Anyway, let's fold these down and do the long distance test. We're going to be aiming for headshots here and we're just going to be trying to judge where they land. You can see that one falls short. I can't quite tell how short if I'm being honest. Not enough light down there, but that falls short, maybe around here somewhere. Anyway, let's go for a couple more headshots with this one, just so we can just continue to gauge. Again, you can see it just falls short. So not bad at all. This is this is a pretty good nade launcher, and you can see you can judge it quite easily. Aim probably at headshot or just above to try and get shots landing at the feet. Now let's bring out the AK version launcher, the GP25. We'll do the same test. We'll start with close range and we'll push all the way to the back. Now this one tends to shoot a little bit above the laser at close range. And at the back, it's much more accurate to where the laser's pointing. So maybe aim a little low, mid-body. And you can see even at this close range, this one explodes. You can imagine there's no problems further back.
let's fold these and this is where this one really excels in my opinion if you've got long range battles down corridors and you're whipping this out on the corner somewhere the pinpoint accuracy is insane let's go for the three headshots again and you'll see how it performs you can see it's literally pinpoint accuracy over however many meters this is away we should get a rangefinder actually let me get a rangefinder i'm going to see exactly how far this is so with the rangefinder, it's telling us that that distance over there is 50 meters away or 48 meters away, which is kind of interesting because if I turn these up, how, how far was this? This is five meters, 13 meters, 19 meters. Just really showing how accurate this thing is. So you can see how lethal and accurate this particular launcher is over a 50 meter radius. You can also see that you can use it very close to yourself. There's no downside to this launcher in my experience. The thing is a beast. I'm surprised we actually never see it in game. Let's have a look at a few clips now of the launchers. These are all offline. I didn't want to take them online in case I got clapped and I lost them and I couldn't finish off the video. So I did it offline instead. Uh, and you can see I'm just working a scav here or a raider. It's a nice, accurate shot. That's why I wanted to show it. You can just see it's very accurate to the laser, making it an easy kill. What I like about this clip is I could imagine it being against a PMC. You're full sprint, you're just doing something, you're going somewhere, and then you bump into a PMC. And if you've got your nade launcher out and your laser at the ready, you can drop that quick shot on them and then get some cover before it becomes a tactical gunfight and end it before that even begins. In this one, we bumped into Killer. He spots us first. I get a little bit of cover, get the nade launcher at the ready. And it's just one shot in his direction that it takes to kill him. So again, really good on bosses, really effective. And these bosses have so much health, so much more than PMCs. So you can imagine what it would do to PMCs as well. Moving on to the AK, and this is the shot that actually killed four guards. I didn't realize straight away that it actually killed four. Rishala and three of his guards. But anyway, I can show you me shooting bosses in offline with a nade launcher all day. It's not exactly impressive. It's easy to do because they're extremely overpowered. And that's why I think when you find one in raid and you get it out, that you shouldn't be selling it for 30k. You should be making a gun. It's actually easy enough to find the nades. They pop up all the time. So build some nice guns, go and use them, go and take on a boss maybe you haven't taken on before and try something new.